Hello, this is my uh, how to play video on how to play my uh, prototype card game for gameplay applications. So let's get right into this. Uh, types of cards. For the types of cards, I was uh, uh, originally going to have more types of cards for this game, but I wanted to simplify it a bit, so I've created the command card archetype. The command cards basically allow, allow you to command how the game uh, how the game comes along. Uh, think of it as a command from a general or high up in a military setting. Uh, monster uh, monster cards uh, are what you use to uh, summon to the field uh, or set face down. They're also used to uh, tribute summon or sacrifice uh, into a bigger card, which is called the boss monster card. The boss monster card at the start of the turn is set down, uh, set facing down, and rested. Spell cards. Spell cards are similar to command cards, but are more of a weaker version. They're mainly used for buffing yourself and drawing cards, basically getting your hands up and ready to basically strike the enemy. Uh, command cards are basically a more stronger variant, but they're limited to 10 cards. They basically give you more cards to draw, more buffs to your monsters, and more debuffs to your enemy. Preparing the deck. Each deck must have 40 cards. 20 cards are monster cards, one of which one of which must be a boss monster card. If your deck does not have a boss monster card, then your deck is disqualified. 10 command cards in the deck. This is to li uh, this is to limit the overpowerness of the how powerful these cards are. Five of which five of these cards can be a win condition card, where if you draw all five, you win the game. This is similar to Exodia or any other uh, cards you can think of uh, in other card games. These command cards can either allow you to draw draw more cards in your hand to get your hands set up, uh, increase your uh, attack, increase your defense, or inc or make it so you get your boss monster more quicker, but at the cost of uh, life points. As the command cards can only be used uh, once per duel, uh, or once per tool in a sense, depending on the command card, and some command cards require you to use your life points as a resource. Uh, 10 spell cards. Uh, these spell cards are limited to 10. They're basically the same as command cards, except they get uh, more limited to like, draw, attack buffs, and they don't require you to use your life points as a resource. Game setup. This is a rough idea of what the playmat should look like. I made it like a, a tactician setting, so the monster zone could be any tactician formats formation you can think of. The drop zone is at the top left corner where you'll sacrifice your monsters in order to unlock your boss monster. Your spell command zone's at the bottom next to your boss monster. This is to represent the casters of uh, the setting, uh, where there's no caster type monsters but I said you have your spell on command cards and the damage zone is in the top uh, is in the, the bottom left corner uh, and that was where you would take damage and put your damage resources in card effects uh, as I said earlier command card effects are basically buffs and debuffs spell card effects are exactly the same but a wicked variant and monster card effects are essentially ways to get your boss monster out quicker or ways to get other cards out which will help you get your boss monster card out uh, quicker. And boss monster cards buff up your monster units, buff up itself, and it basically all depends on what boss monster card you are running within your deck. Draw phase. Uh, during this phase, you'll draw a card. Uh, if you're going first, you cannot draw a card, sadly, but you gain an additional life, uh, life point in, in the damage zone. Uh, standby phase. During this phase, uh, your opponent can either activate their effect if they have any cards face down, or they can basically not activate their effect. This is only a phase to basically see if your opponent has any effects they want to activate during this phase. Main phase. During this phase, you can uh, normal summon one monster per turn, or you can do a chance summon, where you can summon every monster you've got in your hand, but at a co or the cost of you taking 8 points of damage if you're going first, or 7 points of damage if you're going second. You can do a dice summon, which will Depending on what uh, you'll sacrifice one card from your hand and put it into the drop zone. So this will basically give your boss monster resources more, up more quicker. And on top of that, uh, you roll a dice and whatever number that dice lands on is how many number of monsters you summon uh, at the cost of half their attack and defense. Um, 
You can also activate spells and command cards during this turn. Command cards got to be one, used once per duel uh, for that card name. And spell cards uh, are exactly the same but once per turn. Uh, monster effects can also only be used once per turn if, sta if stated otherwise. Same with boss effects. Battle phase is where you will attack your opponent. You will normally attack their monsters if they have monsters on the board. But if they have no monsters on the board, you will be attack. You'll be clearing an attack directly. This will this will cause the uh, enemy to take damage. Uh, but if you, you attack the monster, uh, it will kill the monster, and the player would and the enemy player would not take any damage. All damage cards during this phase will go to the, will go to the drop zone. Uh, will go to the damage zone, sorry. All monsters during this phase will go to the damage zone. However, if the uh, enemy player has no monsters on the field, they will have to discard the top card of their deck and place it in the damage zone. End phase. During this phase, um, you'll basically end your turn and it will go straight to the player, straight to the player, uh, up second player's uh, turn. Uh, however, if you have any effects, that needs to be resolved. You have to resolve resolve it by the end of this turn. Otherwise, the monster is uh, is discarded to the drop zone. Now you can choose to not activate the effect in order to get your boss monster out more quickly. However, this could come at a costly price if it's a monster card, as these cards can be used as a resource to to defend you to stop taking more damage. Um, this is basically the basic premise of uh, my uh, how to play uh, how to play video. Um, this basically explains how to play the game, how to get set up, and how to basically get the fundamentals down. Uh, any questions, uh, ask me within my form post, or l let me know in person. Uh, thank you uh, for watching this video, and have a great day.